What's going on guys, ladies and gentlemen, news freaking flash. So, the Marine Corps has just released a new MAR admin, it's MAR admin 615-22 for female Marines in regards to hair regulations. This is insane, so stay tuned. I'm sorry, I'm screaming too much. So stay tuned because this is crazy. All right, so I got my laptop right here, and I'm going to show you guys, okay? One second. This is the Mar Admin, and this literally came out today. This came out today, like, about five hours ago. I'm, like, I'm impressed, and I'm just, like, whoa. So this video, the purpose of this video is to share how I feel about it as a staff and CEO of Marines and being in for over 10 years. So I really want you guys to get my perspective. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Medium, medium hair length for female Marines. So, per the Commandant of the Marine Corps decision, medium hair length is defined as a hair that does not extend beyond two inches, be inches below the collar, the base of the collar lower edge. Okay. So, however, the hair must not obscure the collar rank insignia. So, I was literally going to chop her a fake bun this week because I'm going to let my hair grow. But now that I see the order, I'm not going to do that. So, here is my hair. So, it cannot be like this, right? Where it's covering my rec insignia. So, but it can be from the back. Before the order was like, okay, you got to be like up here. Now, it could be like down here, like two inches. So, this is one, two. So, all the way down here. Rapunzel. We're going to be walking around like Rapunzel. This is crazy. But here's the other thing, right? Here's the other thing. So let me go ahead and read it for you guys. Um, one secure half ponytail is up to obscure half braids. Uh, blah, 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 provides neat professional military appearance are authorized for medium hair length with the MCCU's fly suit physical training PT uniforms. Uh, half ponytails must be secure over the crest of the head, but no lower than the crown of the head with a ponytail holder that is consistent with the hair color. Okay, so this is not consistent with my hair color, so I'm going to have to get one that's brown with my hair color. All right, keep listening, all right? Keep listening because this is, this is crazy. Okay, so right here, uh, braids must be secure over the crest of the head, but no lower than the crown of the head with a ponytail holder that is consistent with the hair color. Cannot extend beyond two inches below the base of the color edge or interfere with the proper wear of the headgear. Okay, so this is the thing. So I could use this, right, when my hair is getting long, and I could go like this, and I could wear, oh, oops. I could wear a ponytail. I could wear a freaking ponytail this is in regs this this is in regs oh my god like this is in regs now this is in regs this is in regs i can't even believe it i can't believe we're no longer bald headed b s b check you can you can finish the word for me listen to this okay this is in regs let me keep going all hairstyles must present a neat and professional appearance. Okay, so let's make it a little bit neat. Let's not OD here. Let's not OD. <laughs> okay, one second. One second for me. Because this is crazy. Okay, one second. Appropriate to occasional operation environment. Doesn't interfere with proper headwear. And in order to minimize potential damage from hair, daily hairstyle, Marines are encouraged to avoid alcohol-based hairstyling like from the damage of hairstyling all the time uh styling wet hair and hairs can cause undue tension on hair follicles so they're actually looking out for female marines who are going bald and suffering from like bald head spots so these are crazy news like this is something that i've never seen i have never seen this before okay let's keep going in order to minimize potential damage, there is no requirement to have tightly pulled back or slick back hair at any length. Okay, so you can have this. Girl, you can have this. Your hair could be like this, like that. You don't have to put gel on. 
That's literally what it's saying. Make it look neat, put it down, a little bit of water, sal saliva if you want to, don't matter. But you don't have to put gel on, we're no longer going bald. So, a lot of female Marines were going bald because of pulling their hair so tight, which was the reason that I cut my hair on the first place. This is insane. Five hours ago. Five hours ago. You heard it first from Stats Around the Wall. Unless your command has not told you. But this is insane. I was literally, it was funny because I was literally telling my first time, oh, I'm going to get a... I'm gonna get a, a a fake bun this weekend because my hair is getting a little long and I just don't, I wanna go right out. He's like, oh, you don't have to do that anymore. There's no order. I'm like, what? What? So I went and read it. But yeah, guys, I wanted to give you the information out. What do I think about it? So I honestly think this is good. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, we're gonna look like the Air Force. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, look, for a female and me being in for like over 10 years, I was losing my hair on this side. I was balding. It was very light, very self-conscious. Then a lot of times you have to do serious shots on your follicles, on all your scalp. That crap hurts. So a lot of female Marines were balding and losing hair on the sides and the foreheads are getting super big. So this is really good. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean like, look, go, go to work and look like crap. But this is like a way for you to be able to literally not worry about going bald in uniform and like those things like that so these are my thoughts in it this is my this is just my uh opinion in it do i think it's good yes do i agree with it absolutely do i feel like people may you know may choose to look around looking a little bit ratchet maybe but at the end of the day this is going to save a lot of women's scalps and it's going to help a lot of women stop feeling self-conscious about themselves and how much like, their hair looks or how they're losing their hair and how they're balding. So I think this is a great opportunity for female Marines like myself to be able to feel uh, good and feel beautiful and feel good in uniform and not get self-conscious about their hair and not have to resort into doing a boycott or doing a, a short bob. Uh, which is something that I did and I chose that because my hair was getting pulled back so much and I took pride in doing a, the slick bun and all of that. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's the order. Thank you so much for listening and please go ahead and follow or subscribe to my channel. I am posting this video on my channel, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow and I just wanted to give you guys the information, but this is some amazing and crazy news, and I agree with it, and I will 100% support it, and I think it's pretty awesome. So, you guys have a great and amazing day, and happy Thanksgiving! Ow!